A U.S. soldier has been detained after going on a shooting rampage in southern Afghanistan, killing 16 civilians, including nine children. It's thought he opened fire inside local homes in the middle of the night. NATO is investigating the incident, which comes after mass protests just last month over the inadvertent burning of copies of the Koran at a U.S. military base. Uh, let's get more reaction on this now with Lindsay German from the Stop the War Coalition. Uh, thanks for coming on RT today. So after the outrage seen following the Koran burning, so this couldn't have come at a worse time, could it? Uh, do you think uh, in any way this could affect the U.S. position in Afghanistan? Oh, I think it certainly will affect the U.S. position because what's happening, I mean, the, the Americans will try to say this is just an isolated incident, but we have to remember that there are 100,000 occupying troops there. There have been many, many demonstrations over the burning of the Koran. That isn't just about the, uh, the offense to Islam. It's also about the occupation itself, the airstrikes, and particularly in this case, we know that every night in Afghanistan, up to 40 houses are raided um, looking for uh, alleged terrorists in, in the country. Now, uh, if this soldier is one or of, of the many who've been involved in these raids, then it does raise many, many questions as to exactly how the Americans are treating uh, the occupied population, the Afghan people. And I think it will have a very, very serious effect on... Uh, on the Afghan's attitude already, President Karzai. But when it, but when it, when it comes to, murder. as you say, when it comes to how American troops are, are dealing the locals there across Afghanistan, as you say, with these multiple nighttime raids, uh, let's address one possible medical issue. I mean, I mean, could this shooting spree in any way be related to the pressures and the longevity of being in a war zone? Perhaps some sort of war fatigue prompted this soldier uh, to do his nighttime shooting. Well, we don't know exactly what prompted him. Of course, I'm sure there are huge pressures. Um, I'm sure people are tired of the war. But this is a reason for getting the troops out, not keeping them there, in bases where they are able to leave those bases, enter people's houses and kill them in the way that they've done. I mean, this raises the whole question of what the occupying troops are doing in Afghanistan. They've been saying this is a mission for peace and democracy, for um, helping to bring an improvement in the situation of Afghans. It is increasingly the case that this is looking like um, a brutal occupation which is killing a large number of Afghans where uh, Afghans feel themselves humiliated and insulted and where incidents like this will be uh, regarded as symbolic of exactly what is wrong with the American occupation. But do you, think, do you think in some way that an occupation or an intervention is in some way a, a positive move? You look at Iraq. Iraq has a form of democracy now. Uh, Libya liberated now with the NTC getting its act together. Afghanistan, a new government there. Is it possible, though, the intervention well, in Afghanistan I, I, has I been a success? Say, I have to say that I think in all these cases that the description that, that you're giving is, owes more to, uh, to fantasy than to reality. Uh, Iraq is a broken country. It's a, uh, as acknowledged by many people, with up to a million people dead. The fighting and possible partition is, is growing up again in Libya, only a few months after we were told this was a massive success. And in Afghanistan, if you look at what even the military and even the governments uh, represented by ISAF are saying, they they all concede privately, semi-publicly now, that this war is not being won. They are having to negotiate with the Taliban. It is an absolutely cynical operation to say that they're going to keep the troops here uh, in Afghanistan for another three years. How many more people will die? How many more incidents like this? The only solution to this is to bring the troops home and for these, for these governments to stop intervening in countries where they have absolutely no right to intervene. And, and excuse me, just for interrupting for a moment, I'm running very low on time here, but just going back to this uh, U.S. soldier who's gone on a shooting spree, a nighttime shooting spree in Afghanistan, killing 16, uh, at least uh, several children, nine children in, in, in that as well. Um, leaving the government aside, what sort of response would you expect this incident to provoke from the Afghan people? I would expect the response from the Afghans exactly as I would expect the response from any uh, country in the world where this has happened, where nine children have been killed. They will regard this as a matter of grave concern. They will regard it, I think, as another reason to want to get the troops out, and that's what they'll be campaigning for. All right, uh, Lindsay German from the uh, Stop the War Coalition. Many thanks for coming on RT today. Thank you.